Uh, Growth has been around for just over 50 years. Um, Women's football didn't come in until maybe 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And then they didn't have what you call maybe advanced level for women's football until about seven years ago. Um, When some of the younger players decided that they wanted to keep playing for this club instead of going somewhere else. Yep. And so they had some help from um, parents of the, or their own parents mm-hmm. to kind of just found this um, team. And it feels really fulfilling. I'm very happy. The girls of the team are hardworking. They're dedicated. And it's nice to be surrounded by such great talent that not only drives me to be the best player I can be, but also to push, I know that I can push them to be the best version of themselves. So to compare it from year one to now, the development has been just extraordinary. I mean, the now we're competing to go up. We had gone up in the past. We, um, we you know, have become way more serious. We are training five, six days a week, and the quality of the football has improved a lot. And Hello, everyone. Welcome here on Sandy Bay Media for this episode. My name is Rory Kuma, and I'll be the host. I'm joined by the players from an Icelandic club, Grotta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Players and a community Hi. member <laughs> and a board member, and they're going to be telling us a little bit about Icelandic football and their club, and they're going to correctly pronounce the name for me. <laughs> Go, Thora. So it is the football club Grotta. Uh, we're based in Seltemnes in Iceland. Mm-hmm. And we've had uh, women's football, um, so the top league players playing for, I want to say, about seven years. Fantastic. Thanks for that. And um, let's get an introduction of who we've got, so sticking with you, Thora. Okay. Uh, my name is Thora. Uh, I'm a board member for Grota. Mm-hmm. I was a player for my whole life, and then... As soon as I stopped, I knew I wanted to continue in some sort of way. So now I'm in charge of the home games and just anything that they need. Yeah, uh, my name is Bjarke. I'm a player at Grotta. I've been playing now for six years at the club. And I am a midfielder on the team. Terrific. And I'm Ariella Lewis. I'm from Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, this is my first season with Grotta, and I am a striker. Fantastic. Well, let's get straight into it. So, uh, Thora, Thora, let's tell us a little bit about the club, or tell us a little bit more about the club and Icelandic football in general. So, starting off with the club, let's go a little bit deeper. Okay, so. Uh, Growth has been around for just over 50 years. Um, Women's football didn't come in until maybe 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And then they didn't have what you call maybe advanced level for women's football until about seven years ago. Um, When some of the younger players decided that they wanted to keep playing for this club instead of going somewhere else. Yep. And so they had some help from uh, parents of the, or their own parents mm-hmm. to kind of just found this um, team. And at the moment, we're in the, what you, I guess you'd call third division. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're placed in the, I think we're third at the moment, just heading off to um, the finals to try and get promoted. And so far, it's going quite well. The girls are doing well. They're healthy. And um, from what I can tell, there's a good morale. So we, we envision a lot for our future, um, hoping to get more girls, hoping to get more homegrown girls, and then as well as additional players somewhere else um, that could support the team. No, it's awesome to hear that. I love uh, the mentality about supporting homegrown talent and giving them an opportunity. Ariella, first season at the club, how have you found it? Have you found Iceland and what the, what has that been like? Just really briefly. Yeah, um, yeah, first year at the club and I 
I'm having such an amazing experience. You know, I am coming off of, you know, two years of having to be inside for COVID and that was really hard. And so being able to be a part of a team again and just be a part of an amazing club again, it's, it's just, it feels really fulfilling. I'm very happy. The girls of the team are hardworking, they're dedicated. And it's nice to be surrounded by such great talent that not only drives me to be the best player I can be, but also to push, I know that I can push them to be the best version of themselves. So, and I'm really enjoying That's it. Absolutely. <laughs> That's brilliant to hear that. And I just, once again, I just love the mentality behind that. B, you've been at the club for, or you've been in Iceland for seven years so far. How has the game developed since you started to now? Um, yeah, quite quite a lot of development over the past seven years. So I uh, originally went to Iceland seven years ago. I was playing for a different club um, just in the neighboring town. And they were in the top league in Iceland. And then mm -hmm. I moved and uh, the following year I started playing with Grota. It was their first year as a team. And um, so Grota's history was not, uh, they had no history. And the club was doing everything they could to bring up this women's team. And we had, you know, just kind of all over the place with players' ability. We had players that were good, that had played for many years. We had young girls that were just moving up into an adult league. And so to compare it from year one to now, the development has been just extraordinary. I mean, the now we're competing to go up. We had gone up in the past. We, um, we you know, have become way more serious. We are training five, six days a week, and the quality of the football has improved a lot. And, yeah, it's just very competitive. And we have players coming from all different clubs and countries coming to play with us and and improve the team just mm -hmm. every week and every year. So it's, yeah, I would say there's been a lot of development. And it's been fun to see just in women's football in no, general. It's exciting and I think, to hear that. Yeah, and it's also having this team at the club, a women's team has also improved the numbers and and the outlook for younger players in the club to look up to an older team that they know that there is a an adult team in the club that that's awesome. they can look at and see themselves there one day. That's awesome to hear that and it's exciting to hear that development has occurred over that period of time. And it's fantastic to see that it is becoming a destination club that's attracting players. Um, with pedigree from around the region, but also abroad. That's exciting. Okay. Um, Thora, Thora, looking at yourself, so it's a former player, come, um, and now you're part of the club. How was that transition from playing into becoming a board member? I'd say it's a bit hard. <laughs> it's a bit difficult staying off the pitch and um, not be a part of the team as much. Um, but I think it's very, um, it's given me a lot to be able to still be a part of what I made and the history of it. And it's really, it's really nice to know that I'm doing the best I can for the girls that are coming behind me or after me. Um, it's, it's also nice to see that because I'm not the only one. We have another girl that, uh, Karen, that had also quit and just joined the board. And it's nice to see that we're a club that can keep the girls that play because we just love the club so much. No, that's awesome to hear that. And it's um, mm -hmm. exciting to see those pathways are there for players to transition into still being actively involved in the club post playing. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, you mentioned that you're sitting third in the league, playing finals, promotions on the line. Ariel. As a player that's come into the season, how would you sum up the season and how's it gone? How would I sum up the season? Yep. I would sum up the season as hard fought, but going really well for us. I think um, we have not only seen what we can do together as a team, but we've also seen what we can do when we're faced with adversity. Um, mm -hmm. I just, I, I think 
a lot of the season has shown us who we can be as a club. And I don't know. It's just, it's been a very interesting season to say the least, but I think it's also been a very fun season of a challenging season. And I'm looking forward to these next five games of playoffs. I think it will definitely show what we're made of and how dedicated we really are to getting promoted. And I think with such a talented group that it is possible for us to do, but as it stands, like, uh, like we pointed out, we're third, but and it could be anyone's game. But I have a lot of faith in this team that we're going to be able to battle it out and get the result that we want. That's excellent. And B, your thoughts on the season so far and how have you seen it? Um, yeah, my thoughts on the season are, well, it's it started really well. Um, we were playing phenomenal at the beginning of the summer and um, but like any season, there's ups and downs, and we had moments where we mm-hmm. could have performed better. Um, but then, all in all, we, I think, have proved ourselves and know now, I think, from learn from different games that we are very capable of a lot and capable of going up to the next league. And that's what we're fighting for. We're fighting very hard to go to uh, promote at the end of this uh at the end of september and but all in all i think there's been a lot of improvement even though at the beginning of the summer we were winning games by many goals um i think we are improving every day and i i think it's been a it's been a really good season and i'm excited to see how it ends i'm excited to see if we go up i'm excited to go up (laughs) that's excellent to hear. <laughs> yeah. That's brilliant to hear that. And hopefully you'll do go up and you get those final results at the end of the season. Yeah. And I feel like your thoughts and or your thoughts as an overall this season, both on and off the pitch, have? I think it's gone quite well, actually. Like Berke said, um, she... Like it all started really well. We had a good momentum, um, and then just struggles hit. Like within any club, we had some injured players. We had some sort of, um, yeah, hesitation of the girls. Like it wasn't moving on as they wanted. Yeah. But it's been amazing to see them fight back and persevere through anything. Uh, they've just done their jobs. They deliver everything we ask them of. Ask of them. And then it's been quite an interesting summer as well, since this is the first summer that they are doing the sort of playoffs at the end. So they're trying to um, increase the number of games. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time we play more than the normal amount of games, which just makes it more exciting. And I think it gives the girls a lot. It just extends the season as well. Mm -hmm. And off the pitch, it's been amazing. I love what I do. I love helping out. I still have some friends on the team and then I see some younger girls coming in and it's just nice to see that they're, they're really grateful for uh, whatever we do for them. And we're trying to make it more professional, have a professional environment. Uh, It's one of the, it's one of the goals of the club to make it a professional club. And I think the girls are just making it, easy for us. <laughs> uh, it's brilliant to hear that and I love the trajectory that the club is on. Um, just trying to, as you said, just making it a more of a professional environment and giving those local players an opportunity to play at the highest level possible. Well, look, thank you everyone for joining us this morning or this afternoon, wherever you are watching this from the world. But thank you for joining us and having a quick chat about the club, Icelandic football and your journeys you've been on. We're looking forward to catching up soon, hopefully after the finals, after you've gotten promoted (laughs) and having a talk there. But thank you for today. Thank you for having us. Thank you.